If I started a gay rights group, I must be gay. So if I start an animal rights group, what does that make me? A giraffe? This is Agent L. She loves other girls. End of story. This is Agent G. He likes other boys. End of story. This is Mr. and Mrs. Agent B. They both love boys and girls. And this is Agent T. He will think that Agent T is a boy, but actually Agent T is a girl. End of story. And this is Agent Q. He's a circle. And actually, he doesn't have a labeled sexuality or gender. These, among other types of genders and sexualities, represent what our club, the Acceptance Club, is all about. You know that saying sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you? Well, that's not entirely true. There are words like faggot and dyke and phrases like that's so gay that are really hurtful to some people, especially like people in the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and questioning individuals. You're watching this video because the Acceptance Club is launching the first ever acceptance campaign. This campaign is all about acceptance and loving imperfections because loving others' imperfections will only encourage us to accept and love our own imperfections. This Friday, we and other members of the Acceptance Club will be in the cafeteria lobby pledging with all of you to stop using these hurtful words. We all may not be perfect in every way, but sometimes think of those around you who don't accept the way they are and know that we need to encourage them to let them know it's okay to be themselves. If you want, come to our weekly meetings on Thursday during A lunch in Ms. Dotson's room. All students and teachers are welcome. We would love to see more support. In 1976, a gay rights demonstration was performed in New York City. In 2011, Obama repealed DOMA, which led to a firmer sense of LGBTQ equality. Times are changing. Viewpoints are not the same as they were before. We are starting a revolution at Brevard High School. Coming to school and hearing faggot and gay being used in everyday language hurts more than you would think because you never know who is listening.